Welcome, truckers. Welcome, truckers? Hmm. Oh, hello. May I help you, sir? Oh, uh, yes. I mean, no. I mean, uh, I just noticed some misspelling on your sign. Misspelling? Yeah, you spelled truckers wrong. Truckers? <laughs> yeah, truckers. And I don't know. My dad drove a truck for 42 years. Yeah, I miss them days. He used to let me talk on a CB radio. Well, didn't exactly let me. I stuck in when he went around. Breaker, breaker, one time. Got your ears on, good buddy? It's a big 10-4. Pretty good, huh? And you are... What are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> oh. What was the question? I was asking who you are. Who you are? Who you are? I don't know who you are. You didn't introduce yourself yet. My name is Hank, Hank, Granger, Hank Granger, New Kendall Park. That's not it. Hank, Hank, Hank Park, New Kendall Granger. Wait, that's not it either. <laughs> Kendall, Hank Kendall, New Park Granger. There we go. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kendall, is it? That's right. Kendall, K-E-N-D-A-L-L. -E -L -L. I was always a good speller. Oh, no. One time in third grade, I misspoke the word antediluvian. Use the I instead of E. Can you believe that? Torments me to this day. Well, an exact torment. More like a slight irritation. Uh, Mr. Kimbo, regarding our sign, it's actually supposed to say trekkers. Because that's what people do when they trek up the mountain. Oh. Alright, my mistake then. Was there a reason you came by at the Saturday, Mr. Kimball? Reason? I'm sure there was a reason. You know, I still think truckers would have been much better. Well, maybe not much better. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> Who is that, Siri? New Kindle Ranger. The what? I need a new park ranger. Well, uh, what did he want? Your guess is as good as mine. I can't wait for you to meet him. Well, that'll have to wait. I just got a call saying that our guests have landed and they're on their way. This pesky door just stays open all the time. Look how we shut it. Sorry. Yeah, they just informed me that they're on their way. Good. Well, everything should be ready. Any update on our monkey problem? Yes, Joseph just informed me that he caught the little rascal, so our problem should be over. Not a moment too soon, a new group coming in. You know, I'm really looking forward to this one. A TV news team from Ohio finding Mount Kilimanjaro for charity. Yeah, it should be interesting. Imagine them coming all this way to raise money for a children's hospital. That's what I love about this place. It brings up the best. Yeah, it's always nice to see other people doing good things for others. But then I'm reminded that our best still isn't good enough to get us to heaven. We all need the gospel, and we need it desperately. Oh, that reminds me. A package came in this morning. They're uh, little books of proverbs. We're putting them on all the nightstands. That's a great idea. I love the book of proverbs. Me too. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. I love that. That's good. Or this one, listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise. If only more people would do that. Yeah, it's very true. You know what else Proverbs says about wisdom? That happy is the man who finds it, that it's more precious than silver or gold, and that nothing we could ever want could ever compare with it. Wow, that's quite the immersive. I'll go put them out right now. Uh, you'll have to wait. I think our guests have just arrived. Weren't there supposed to be three of them? There were. I, I guess they had a change of plans or something. Man. Our ears are going to flip when they see this. Our ratings are going to be as high as that mountain. Yeah, eat your heart out, Channel 5. It's a beautiful place you guys got here. Hey, well, thank you. Thank you. Well, we're really happy to have you guys here. Uh, I'm Mike Parker, the director here at uh, Camp Kilimanjaro, and this is my assistant, Terry Underwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Storm Weathers. Storm Weathers. Let me guess. The weatherman, yep. and that's Snow Joe. <laughs> Snow Joe! <laughs> please, please don't laugh. You'll just encourage him. That sounds like a storm warning to me. <laughs> 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 
See what I mean? Uh, what can I say? I'm a walking joke factory. And these weather puns, you know, they're a real breeze. <laughs> Because he had a fog in his throat. <laughs> Really going to enjoy yourself here, don't you? 